Hello and welcome y'all, it's your boy Uncle Nudie here and we are in for the Heavenly Delusion. So, episode number two we are, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, baby. Let's go. The anime starts with a Takio and Taro just, uh, they're talking to outside the world, so they're curious to know about it. And they always want to know why Mimihime loves to go outside the world. And then you can see that uh, Taro just hurts her hand and just hides her wound and just go back to her room. And then we can see that Coco just made a Kuna's uh, painting and just give it to him. So after that we can see that Kuna and Mimihime just... Uh, uh, sitting next to each other and Mimihime just kicked out of the chair to sitting on her side and just kick her out to sit on her place so Kuna just uh, said you just promised me to make me a drawing so Kuna just answered that the next one is yours so we can see the next thing that Kuroko just facing with a human eater monster and Kuroko just felt her presence so just wake the marrow up and they're just going out and telling the marrow that they uh, she giving us a somehow medicine to let us sleep and then we can see that uh you know, fighting the Kiroko and that monster, and then uh, we can see that they managed to kill that uh, monster. And then the manager, the lady, I mean, I just call her and say, This is my boy, and my boy just get into it and tell into the Yodo. So uh, he just stand against the monster to defend him. So it just start the talk, and Kiroko just won't accept it. But the woman is still insisting that is uh, her son, and she many, uh, he many times defended her. And Kiroko just convinced and accepted to not hardly deal with her. So, and of course, just ran out of bullet so the monster cut the woman into three pieces and started eating that woman oh my god so we can see the Kiroko telling the Maro that that whip just moving in a way but Maro just getting angry to say how logically possible you're thinking about this thing in a this hard situation so said we can get survived and Maro just apologized her and said I go to kill her so we are in a scene that Maro and the monster just fighting and we can see that uh, he, he has a strange power of the marrow and uh, we can see that blow the heart of the enemies and so just we just blow his heart and we are in a you know next scene that we go into the tomorrow and Kiroko just started talking that's why just uh, that monster just killed this woman and said Kiroko could be a many reason but we are so much uh, in a hurry and TikTok times are wasted and we have to find that heaven so after that we are in a scene that they're continuing their adventure and we are in a scene that tomato heaven and Mimihime and she understands that something gonna happen again and then we are in the Kiroko in Maro again and Kiroko just telling Maro that you don't know what happened and if you know it what do you gonna do and Maro just answered that yeah and then after Kuroko just somehow she's a protector of the Maro and telling to if you are not okay with it so my uh, job is not done yet and I do whatever what I want to do so I do for just for you so just do not hide a secret from me. And then we can see that Mara just giving a needle and a somehow medicine to her. Said this is like me and I have to, uh, you know, just inject that thing. And I believe that this is a person that, you know, how to go to the heaven. So we have a flashback of the Kuroko and we have the city guy named Miroko. And says that you have to protect Mara with it and take it. To to the heaven so then uh, we can see that the village people of you know urban people out, out there just uh, talking to Kiroko and they just decided to talk with, to their leader and the people of the village just uh, decided to take these two guys into the village leader so leader uh, that called Kuzakabe if I'm not mistaken yeah Kuzakabe 
and just meeting with them and started talking so they said uh, about their past and their hard living and uh, you know when they're staying and they're living together as a like a family and after that you know I saw them and just randomly we can see that a box that's looking at the Mars room and there is a sign of the laser gun of the Kiroko just uh, hit on that box and then Kiroko asking him that where is this box come from and the man says I'm not sure about it uh, because we're going vegetables to the Tokyo with a ship so and after that they said can we go to the Tokyo with that ships and of course as the usual Kiroko asking I do you know about something about it, like a heaven or tomato heaven or something now like that and he says no we don't know anything about it and Kiroko just telling Amaro that can't get any information about him let's uh, go with a ship and to the Tokyo and maybe we could some help from them so Mero just say okay and Kuroko telling Mero that we know about your past and maybe we should know a little bit faster that uh, we could go to heaven but Maro says nothing and after that we are in a scene that's in a ship and Maro telling her that's just forget about the heaven and uh, I just want to live with you in a form and I love you he just confessing to her and uh, he just wanted to forcefully kiss her but Kiroko stopped her cut the scene so we are in the scene that uh, Mara just you know, asking apologies and begging the pardon and Kiroko said my body is somehow woman but my thoughts are men like holy shit this one is real 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 dangerous seriously and Mara just said what? wait a minute and that's it the scene is stopped maybe censored maybe censored you know just some, you know, some action happened that Kiroko just got forget about it yes you may know it it's doomsday of course so everything gonna happen it's somehow apocalypse so everything is happening everything is possible so thank you for your listening i'm out of here peace peace out